Yes, um, Sharon Yon is a good potential for business. Really, it's a good um, avenue. It's a play, good place for business. And um, Pearl has uh, 29 apartments and one single room. Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Queen Sufi. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this beautiful video. And if you are a returning subscriber, I love you. Thanks for always coming back. You guys, we just hit 25k subscribers. Thank you so much for each and everybody that subscribed. I really do appreciate it. And guess what, guys? I'm at Pals. I'm in Pals. I'm on Pals. <laughs> Whatever, however you want to take it. And I am with the manager here, Mr. Pa, Mr. Mars, sorry. And today we are going to be talking about PAL, okay? How it started, what you want to know, the apartment, the cost, how they do their whatsoever service they render. And then after this video, we have to do a tour in PAL. So like just stay tuned for that video. It's an amazing video and you will not want to miss out. So, first of all, I'll allow the manager to just introduce himself. Good morning to our viewers and subscribers and to those who have not subscribed this channel. Please subscribe <laughs> now Please. and share. So and also watch this video till the end because I'm having headache with my watch hours. I'm having headache. Okay, um, my name is Mars. Um, I've been a manager here since um, 2017. Um, we started I started working here before it officially opens. So um, Pearl officially opens December 15, 2017. So currently we are at almost six years of operation. Okay. And um, Pearl has uh, 29 apartments and one single room. But we are planning to... to Expand Expanding. soon. So we are still waiting for the plan to to be presented to us and the owner and so we will proceed with the So like that is just um a, a very short introduction about Pa and himself. I said you already told them your name, right? Yes, uh, my name is Mars. And so, A or it's like the planet or the chocolate. <laughs> it's easy to remember. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Mars. So Mr. Mars, let's start off with the initial plan of PA. Okay, we that are out there, we just see PA as a hotel and a restaurant. Okay. So like let's just know the initial plan of PA. Okay, when when they constructed this facility, the initial plan is actually all residential. And that's why all um, our apartments are all set up in an apartment. So when we officially open, there is this demand for our tenant because um, even before we officially open, we already have one tenant staying in here. Yeah. So we, uh, the management decided to give uh, some of our apartment as hotel. And what we are offering as a hotel is more than what we are charging them. Why? Because in a normal hotel room, um, you what you can get is only your your. It's a room, just yeah. a room. Your bed when you enter the room, it's and then a bathroom. Yes, but when you come to Pearl, um, you have the living room, the kitchen, um, the kitchen and the living room and the apartment. Um, Miss uh, Sophie will show you on the tour on how it is set up. Yeah. But that's what you will get. What I'm trying to see is um, what you paid for is even over on what we gave you. So like they gave you um, more services that is actually supposed to be given to you as a tenant or as you that just come into a hotel. So like, okay, that's the initial plan. It was first um, set up as a residential. That is for people to rent. Yes, for yes. long term. Okay, for a very long time. Like how much, like, because when you say long term, most time we think about a year yes. or an annual. Even, if, even for long term tenants, um, I, I can compare that we are even uh, in terms of rental. Mm. It's either we are the same as outside but we have more yeah. that we are offering 
Um, you know, we I have friends that renting outside. They're actually renting this, but the facility that they are getting is not the same. Okay. But the amount that they are renting outside is almost the same. The same price. The same price as per. But then here you have um, more services rendered to mm, you. Yes. Compared to like locally. Yes. What I would say is that uh, locally in Freetown, to rent an apartment is very expensive and it also depends on the area. If you're renting um, western area and then sometimes you just prefer, prefer to go to an expensive residence because it's almost the same and it's very expensive. And um, in these places that our local people rent outside, they'll be charging you like 15 million in mm -hmm. all Leons, okay? Yeah. And also 20 million in all, that's, the 20 million is almost like $1,000. Yes. And also the facility depends on what is your audience or your target um, people. So outside, they don't so care about facilities. Here, <laughs> here um, I have friends that stay outside, but uh, they don't have any managers uh, staying in in the place. Okay, you are staying in here. I'm staying in here. So if our tenants has any problem any time, they oh. can just call um, yeah. the, me or the reception for for any quick uh, response or repair. So that that's actually cool. That's actually cool. That, uh, that you will not have to say um the manager is not here or the manager is not working on Sunday because mm -hmm. I, I came here yesterday and you were here. Yes. That's amazing. So another question here is pa pa pa. You do not just come up and say let's just name it a pa. What's the what's the story behind the name pa and how do you come up with it? Okay. Um. Even me, I'm I'm curious how it was named as Pearl because um, in my home country we are the country is called the pearl of the Oregon seas meaning mm. we have a lot of pearl so That's we so have that name um, in terms of here pearl why it is named as pearl it is because um, the, the owner or our CEO is trying to create something treasure like a pearl Mm. Uh, Pearl is a treasure in, in the ocean yeah. and this facility is like a treasure in Sierra Leone. <laughs> it, it is not a treasure like it for a Sierra Leonean but it is also for the <clears throat> owner for Sierra Leone. Why? Because this is um, 2017, this is the first facility in Sierra Leone that has like this oh. with the service. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. That's beautiful. Um, I just think of something. Okay, is it is um the, you're saying that it was initially a residential place, and I mean, um, I've heard of estate, estate, estate. Is there any similarities? It's it's all si similar. It's all yes. okay because the, how how you operate that facility is that separates you from the others mm. um there's a lot of estate now in freetown um that they are not offering the same service that what we have okay. so that's make us different from them but right now we have a, a new competition but we are not afraid with them <laughs> that's why business. because um i can guarantee you with the service and the cleanliness with with the facility yeah and also the security and privacy of course every business needs a competition that i would say for sure i'm a business student though <laughs> yes uh, businesses are he healthy for the economy yeah so um another question is we've talked about services 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 like what are the exact services you render so for for pearl um um for Let's see. Let's start with the apartment. Um, apartment has its own Wi-Fi facility. Mm -hmm. Then you're not sharing with any other apartment. Our TV is a smart TV. Then aside from the the space, uh, it's double than the normal hotel room. Um, with other facilities, we have a washing machine inside. So if you are staying for long, minimum for a week or two weeks or even months, then. Um, you do not need for extra extra expenses of sending your laundry outside, outside. service mm -hmm. then we have also a parking we have restaurant that later also we are going to yeah. have a tour with the restaurant mm -hmm. although there is a restaurant manager i will introduce you to the manager okay. um we have swimming pool we have gym 
okay so you have gym here as long as you are a, a tenant here then you have access to the gym you have access to your laundries and then you have your kitchen you have your balcony is that how you call it because we call it veranda <laughs> veranda or balcony it's, it's the same we it's, call it veranda it's so. how or where the word is originated yeah so. you have um your tv it's a well furnished place because in some other um apartment that's the local ones here they really charge high but then you have to come in with everything that you need but in here i guess you meet everything that you need except for the, the personal ones yeah. basically when you if you are a tenant when you come or transfer or or move in you just need your own clothes and um personal things like uh, for tenants, um, you have to own to bring your own personal things. Mm -hmm. But for guests, you just need yourself. Oh. <laughs> and then your clothes, of course. Yeah. Nobody is, is providing your own clothes for you. So, um, lastly, about par, um, just give us a, a price range. Um, our rate, our normal rate is $185 per night, but of course we are giving discount. Uh -huh. most, most of the time we are giving discount for our guests. So in which, um, with um, circumstances that you have to say, okay, let me give discount. Yeah. Um, most of the time we give discounts um, to our, like, uh, good customers or the repeat customers. Yeah, yeah, your regular customers. The regular customers that are coming in, we always give them a discount. Uh huh. And um, uh, also, even the first timer, if they ask for a discount, as long as we have a part availability of the apartment, yes, of course we give we give discounts. So. And the the rate that I'm telling you, that's a one bedroom apartment. We also have a two bedroom two. apartment, mm -hmm. which is two hundred ninety five. But of course, again, we are giving discounts. Discount. And the so. the rate comes with um, breakfast, and also we can we are flexible with rates. If you don't want the breakfast, then we can also um, remove it from the rate. Oh. Okay, well that's cool. Mm. That's beautiful. So I heard you said that most time you rent this place for long term, short term. Tell us more about that. It it actually depends on availability. Mm -hmm. Um, if this apartment is available for long term, we give it for long term. If the apartment is vacant, then we use it like a hotel. Oh. So it's we just the other complements the other. <laughs> so how was the rate the price rate for if somebody wants to rent for I mean an hour a year mm -hmm. so I was going would you charge the person um rates rates um actually depends on the the, the time how um the, the I mean the the term requirement if it's only for a month two months three months six months or one year it depends oh. so what i can give you for now it's our daily rate okay. because those rates are also available in the reception okay so but for long term we it has to be discussed because um, most of the services for long term is not included in the lease so if you want all the services included then the rates may also change so we have talked about how Paul came about. You told them already how when it started, the services you render and some of the, the daily prices, I mean the daily rates, okay? As of now, because I never know when you're watching this video. So that's why the number for inquiries is on the description box so that you can check them out if you want to book in or also ever so that you get more information. As a business, what are the challenges you face, especially operating here in CLU? Um, there are a lot of challenges um, of doing business in Sierra Leone. Um, one of the challenges, we have internal factors and external factors. factors yeah. Those right. external factors that are, that are the factors that we cannot um, control. Like for example, um, prices of fuel. Oh yeah. And then... Um, the supply of electricity that's one of the challenge as the operation because if there's no supply of electricity from the government then we have, have to, to use our use. own generators yeah. and the fuel consumption that's 
one of it and also external factors like the prices of of the tickets although it's not it's not it's not um, directly connected with the hotel but in terms of number of guests coming in um, they have to consider the ticket See? price yeah and then when you reach the airport there are fees and then yes of course and then a seat coach uh, ticket is additional expenses for mm -hmm. guests coming in another factor is the internal mm -hmm. which is um one of the challenges for internal is um staff consistency oh. meaning the staff um they have the skills they have the knowledge but one of the challenges is through time they tend to relax then it means that the consistency with their work is being brought it down so um, we have to remind them again through time so to to meet so, or to have yes, them so they will not just feel too comfortable around right yes so do you have a level to move up? Um, for me, as much as possible, uh, I'm keeping my staff. Oh. So if you ask, um, interview my staff, most of them are stayed for at least. Um, so I, there's one for one year, um, two years. The other are even five, just almost six years. So is there any other information or maybe an advice? Because I guess there are a lot of people out there that want to invest in Sierra Leone. We would love to have you, but like, since you are already here operating a business, like, do you have anything to say to them? Yes, um, Sierra Leone is a good potential for business. Really, it's a good um, avenue. It's a play, good place for business. Um, you just need to find the right people to handle your business mm -hmm. and it's really really a good potential if you will start business in Sierra Leone and um, one of the advice is if you start a business location location and the oh, right yeah, people yeah, that's all yeah yeah you have to have a very good location the right location for your business or else what are you doing the business for if not i mean putting it in a spot where it can like people can access it really easily that's the people that are in need of it so that, i guess that's correct yes <laughs> accessibility is the key for the business so yeah. if your business is not accessible it means that less likely um more people will come unless they have their own transportation or yeah. car to visit your yeah. place so i guess that's all for this video mm -hmm. thank you so much for watching till the end and don't forget that we had a tour of those place and i know you will not want to miss us come on now we've talked about part and then you do not know what part is or you haven't seen part in the inside then you have to stay tuned for that video okay so go check my next video and, um, and don't forget to like share and subscribe <laughs> and watch the videos to the end i mean that will optimize my watch hours so bye Bye guys! Mm -hmm.